So, hello. Uh, today's video is about doing the right thing when it's the most difficult thing to do. And, yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? So, yes, you may imagine this come around kind of because of what my student told me of getting back at my employer for scamming me out of money and he said to basically steal uh, the reality is that that's the way many people think that you should get back at someone when you're being wronged but to me is it, it really doesn't matter what people are doing around you what really defines you as an individual is what you do in such circumstances and people think that being good is something that only people who are surrounded by good circumstances is they should do you know they think it's like oh you're surrounded by wealth and yada 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 that's when you should be good and kind and and share and things like that and it's just like morals are just for the rich and the privileged and that's an unfortunate thing to think you know it's very pessimistic and cynical one at that and i just don't i refuse to believe that's the way the world should be and i I think that's the difference when more optimistic times usually are, is because everyone, not just those who have, have privilege, every single one of the citizens believe that it's their duty to do the best they can within their circumstances and to behave in a proper manner and to do good even when they're being wronged, to do what's the right thing to do even when it's the hardest thing to do. That's, I think, something that some religions have promoted more than anything. And when people used to be more religious, I think, they fear the consequences of being observed by something else. Or they were inspired by the idea that a man did the right thing to do, no matter what. And, uh, he did the ultimate sacrifice because it was the right thing to do, even though it was the hardest thing to do. It's so discouraging to see people believing that, oh, you're being wronged and you're poor, therefore you should get back at someone and behave in a wrongful manner. It's just like, why am I going to allow myself to do that? Just because I'm poor, just because I'm many things, when being wronged doesn't mean I should misbehave. It's a comeback. What others are doing defines them as an individual. What I do defines me as an individual. Therefore, if they're doing wrong, why should I allow myself to be wrong as well? It's not about your circumstances. It's not about your income. Morals is not about your position in this earth. It's about what you do. And it's easy to just say, oh, in easy times you're good and that's it. And then in difficult times you're bad. Then you're not good really, you're just, <laughs> you're just hypocritical. You're just lazy and you're just doing the things that are easy for you. So, I don't know, there's so many thoughts and I just don't want to be mean or nasty. It's just, how could I live with myself if I did the wrong thing when someone is wronging, being wrong to me? It's just, <laughs> it's right, I fly. I'm sorry, I got distracted by a beautiful stroller. Gorgeous one, like that. Um, you know, 
It's just that your behavior when things are difficult and tough and when everyone is wrong, doing wrong at you is the thing that defines you the most. Not your behavior when everything's doing well and everything's being nice to you. But that's actually one of the main things why I don't like my boss. She was incredibly cruel and misbehaved with someone who was being kind to her. Not one, but two now. Her former employee and now me. And from the moment she misbehaved with such a good individual who was doing nothing wrong at her. Because that's the thing, a truly mean individual is the one that is doing wrong to those who are doing right for them. Oh. She's mean, isn't it? She's really evil. I haven't realised about it, but she's really evil. The way she misbehaved with Sophia and now with me. I mean, yes, I did realise when she did it to Sophia, but I didn't realise about me. I didn't care about me. But another type of evil is the one that's a mediocre evil. The one that it's lazy and it comes and goes depending on the circumstances. Like, there is a phrase in Spanish that says, La ocasión es el ladrón. The occasion makes the thief. I could never be like that. The occasional thief that only sees the, the moment and the advantage of the circumstances. Mm -mm. That that would be that would be something I couldn't live with myself about. And I think that's something that the morals and ethics and religions try to install in every one of us. Is the realization that being good is not about behaving well when everyone is watching and when everything is easy. Being good is about behaving the best way you can when the circumstances are difficult and everything is wrong around you. I think that's the most important thing we should all remember. That I don't know, I don't think my student called himself, is the kind of people who would call himself decent. But that's the thing. No one truly wants to think of themselves as the evil. But if we want to know who we are, then we have to know it through our actions. And if anything, throughout this whole journey, for this three months, I have learned more about myself. And I have been reminded more about myself and my morals and what do I stand for and how I am really am than others. Because these kind of things, I have already seen them before. This kind of petty behaviour, I've already seen it. I don't know, sometimes we all need a reminder how we truly are and maybe God put, just put us to the test, just casually put you to the test. What are you going to do when everything is going wrong? When the devil is teasing you right in front of you and saying, hey, you could do this, you could do that, you could behave like this, no one's going to know. <laughs> Interesting and sad because I just wish people weren't like that sometimes. They realise that at the end of the day, they're helping to the world to be a bit worse. So yeah. We make the world we live at. The world is cruel because we are cruel. The world is unfair because we are unfair. And the world is nasty because everyone is nasty to each other. And those who could be good choose to be evil. That's the one of the hardest realizations about evil we always encounter when it comes to abuse. People had the choice to be good. 
they chose to be evil. It's even worse when they were evil to someone who was good to them. It's also bad when you're evil to someone who was evil to you. Well, I'm sorry for how gloomy everything is. I'm so sorry. human condition, you know, the things you realise about people, it's just astonishing, but more importantly, what we realise about ourselves, and the reality, reality is that I can thankfully say I'm decent, or at least decent enough not to steal from someone evil. <laughs> ah, I hope it has, has served you somehow and helped you and uh, you have to enjoy it and until next time bye bye